Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Exenville, and here's a gameplay on the map of Village, and it is a Moab gameplay, I believe. I go 30 and 3 at the final score, and yeah, so I'm using an MSR. Uh, the first life isn't the Moab, where like I get the Moab in, it's actually the second or third, no, it's the second life when I start using an MSR and I pick up uh, Scar L, and I think I get most of my kills with it, so yeah. MSR with Scarl and that's about it. So yeah, I think that's all for the gameplay. But I'll be talking about the cabin in the woods because that's a movie I saw on Saturday this weekend, and I will be talking about it because it is the movie review I am doing on. Uh, but just before that, I have to say that this series is a series that I will be doing when I watch new movies from now on, and I won't be doing it like every weekend or like every week. I'll be doing it when I see a movie, so maybe it's gonna be like every two months or something. And there's me failing a trick shotting because <laughs> I'm not a trick shotter. Uh, but yeah, so I'll be doing movie reviews on movies that I'll, I'll see in like the future. So other movies, it won't be like every week or something. So it's just like a long time series or something. Anyways, so Cabin in the Woods is if again, if you haven't seen like or heard of the movie, I suggest that you watch the trailer before watching this commentary. And of course, don't, I'll try not to spoil anything. I'm really like against spoiling and stuff like that. Uh, but Cabin in the Woods is a movie that I got suggested by my friend. He said the movie is something that you will not expect to happen, uh, which is something I agree with him. As soon as I like finished the movie, I was not expecting the end and what happened in the middle. It was completely like something you wouldn't expect. It is a horror movie, but I didn't get scared that much. Uh, it was kind of predictable sometimes, but there's nothing wrong with that because it is a horror movie and they're very predictable. Uh, but the movie was amazing. I really loved the movie. I would definitely watch it again. And I'm gonna say the rating right now because I don't know, I just feel like it. But the rating is a 9.5 out of 10. So I would definitely watch this movie uh, again. Uh, I just love this movie. It's something different. It's not like uh, it's not like a slasher movie. It's not like a ghost movie. It's something different. Uh, I'm trying not to spoil, but it's really hard doing like a review without spoiling. Uh, but yeah, so it's something different, uh, and something I think you'll like, cause, I don't know, I loved it, and I think other people will like it. Uh, I went to watch it with my girlfriend, and she liked it also, and her rating was the same as mine. And my sister watched it also, and she had a lower rating out of, uh, her rating was a 7 out of 10, but I still think that my rating is better. Uh, so yeah, it is a really good movie, it was also funny a lot, and, like, there's one guy that was really, really funny. Uh, I'm not really getting spoiled, but no, well, it's not really spoiled. The drug guy, I don't know what his name is. I think his name is Marty. Uh, yeah, his name is Marty. Uh, Marty is a really funny guy. It's really, like, he made the movie much more enjoyable. I did laugh, like, most of the time. And, like, it's uh, sick humor, I guess you could say. Because uh, he is this type of druggy and stuff. And you'll see stuff in the movie. Uh, some stuff is supposed to be scary, but you'll laugh at it, and it's really cool, it's really, like, sick-minded. Again, it's not really scary, so, I don't know, oh, yeah, and there is nudity, so, that kind of sucks if you're, like, if you want to see in the movie theaters, but you can't now. Uh, but you can watch it later when it comes on, like, DVD or something, if you ask your parent to go get it. But it, it is, like, PG-18, I think. Uh, so, if you're, like, under 18, that kind of sucks that you can't watch it, but I had to bring my sister along on a date that I went with Taylor, but uh, she sat at the back, and me and Taylor sat alone, so it, w it, w it wasn't awkward. <laughs> so yeah, this movie was pretty good. Uh, I think everyone's gonna like it. Uh, there's nothing like really like bad. Oh yeah, the reason why I didn't rate it out of 10 was because the ending was kind of like, I didn't really love the ending. It was a good ending, but I didn't really love it. And at some points, like, at the beginning, you don't really understand what's going on, but towards the middle and the end, you, like, completely understand everything. Uh, some stuff I still don't really understand, but, eh, it wasn't, like, that confusing and that, like, oh my god, I don't get this. Uh, but now that we, I forgot to take the host migration out of this, uh, gameplay, we just sit here watching black screen, because, yeah, I'm cool like that. Anyways, I really should have taken that out. Anyways, because, yeah. So, I think that's all I have to say. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I nearly die at the end from right chill. I think it's, like, right here. Uh, no, never mind. <laughs> but it's coming up soon. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. And subscribe if you enjoyed the videos that much. My name... Oh, yeah, it's right here. And I got it.
that was pretty sick. <laughs> if I died, I would rage so much. But yeah, subscribe if you like this video that much. And I think that's about it. So I'll see you guys in my next video. My name is Xanvil. And yeah, that's about it. See ya. Not too much else about the gameplay. So you can exit the video now. See ya.